hello everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new this week i thought we would just do a more casual video more personal video i guess talking about why i spend thanksgiving alone like the title says so i think this is year seven of me not going home for thanksgiving and i haven't spent thanksgiving completely alone for all seven years but um, for the last few years, I've been spending Thanksgiving by myself, and it's been an interesting adjustment. Um, I think in some ways it is kind of a sad time of year for me, but in other ways I think I'm trying to reclaim it into being just like a very introspective, personal time of year. So yeah, I think this will be a lot more of a casual video. I just kind of wanted to talk about some of my annual recurring thoughts around Thanksgiving time and maybe this will be helpful to somebody, maybe this will resonate with somebody else that feels a similar way. But basically, I have never really enjoyed Thanksgiving time. I think that for a lot of people it can be a very like emotionally charged time because extended family gets together, which can sometimes be difficult depending on who your family is and what your views are like and what your family's views are like. So like me and my family, for example, have very, very, very different political views. Um, my parents and I have pretty much opposite political views. So growing up, that was always difficult, especially because Thanksgiving comes so quickly after the election time of year. So like, there's usually some sort of election drama, political drama, social justice drama that's going on in the fall. And then all your family gets together for Thanksgiving and that's what they want to talk about. At least in my family, that's kind of how it was for a few years. And that's just never pleasant or fun for me at all. Because we have such different views, there's so many times that it just has turned into arguing and just being really upset and not wanting to be around anybody. And then also Thanksgiving is obviously a very like food heavy holiday. And as somebody that has pretty much a lifelong eating disorder, I developed an eating disorder when I was really young. It's always been a really difficult holiday for me in like all stages of my eating disorder. I don't wanna go too deep into that. I've mentioned it on my channel before and I'm not really like shy or I'm working on not being ashamed of saying that I have an eating disorder, but like that's a whole topic and I feel like maybe eventually I'll do a whole video about my story with that, but like yeah, eating disorder plus Thanksgiving slash food holiday is always just like an uncomfortable time. Plus like even aside from all of the eating stuff, like personally I don't find Thanksgiving food to be very appetizing like whatsoever like most of it I just don't really like like I don't like sweet potatoes I don't really like green beans I don't really like turkey I don't like cranberries like I just it's nothing that I ever would eat otherwise or like most of the time I wouldn't eat that stuff I would never cook anything like that other than Thanksgiving so I'm just kind of like why am I gonna cook and eat all of this stuff that I don't enjoy so like when I was in college I stopped going home for Thanksgiving after my first year of college and when I was in college I think the first year that I stayed home like in my apartment we had my roommate had their sister come stay with us for Thanksgiving and the sister was vegan so we had a vegan Thanksgiving which was kind of fun and different like we modified some dishes to make them vegan and that was like kind of fun and exciting so it was like just really small like a few of us in the apartment and then the year after that um my college normally did like a big international student Thanksgiving where all the international students would go to the president of the college's house but that year it was like we had a new president of the college he his house wasn't really set up for hosting people and so the school just like wasn't gonna have it and then there was all these international students who like obviously don't go home for thanksgiving because that's a really long trip for most of them so they were just gonna stay home like on campus alone and there's like no event or anything from the school so my friends and i asked the school if we could host it at our house at our apartment and they said yes the school gave us like a small budget for it so we ended up having a whole bunch of international students come over to our house for thanksgiving which was actually really fun because for almost all of them it was their first thanksgiving ever so that year we did much more of a traditional thanksgiving because we wanted to have like the thanksgiving food experience for people who had never tried it before but that was really fun because you know also people brought their own dishes, they brought multicultural dishes from their home country, like it was really cool. So that was another like 
not going home for Thanksgiving, but still having kind of an alternative, like fun Thanksgiving. And then the years after that, I think those were the years I went to Montreal. Um, so my ex and I both were not really into Thanksgiving as a concept. So we used to go to Canada where Thanksgiving doesn't exist, or at least like it's not on that day. So we did that for a couple years and we thought that that was gonna be like our tradition every year. And then we had to stop doing that because of COVID. So 2020 Thanksgiving, we spent alone. And if I recall correctly, we didn't really do like traditional Thanksgiving food. We just did more like our favorite food. Like we just made a bunch of food, but it was all like our favorite things instead of like Thanksgiving things. And honestly, now that I'm spending Thanksgiving last year and this year, like completely alone, I feel like that's the direction I want to go in. Like, I want to spend the time by myself. I don't want to deal with family and political problems and like catering to anyone else, cooking a bunch of food I don't want to eat. Like, I just want to spend the time eating food that I enjoy and spending time by myself, being introspective, like especially in a time where everyone else is doing something else because most people go do something with their family or like do a celebration of Thanksgiving in some way, it feels very special to me to spend the day alone, like while everyone else is occupied doing their own thing. I don't know, something about that makes it feel more impactful to me to like spend the day by myself. And last year was my first year doing that like completely 100% alone. And at first I thought that it would be sad. Like I didn't know how I was gonna feel, even though I was choosing to do that, I thought maybe it would end up feeling a little bit sad. But I ended up having a really nice day. Like I cooked a couple of like small dishes. I relaxed all day. I went for a walk in the park and the park was empty. Like it was just a really nice day. And that's kind of what I'm planning to do this year. And honestly, maybe we'll continue that tradition of just solo thoughtful Thanksgiving. I think that also, the point that I'm at now with my eating disorder, like things have gotten a lot better in some respects and there's other things that have not gotten better and I have a lot of work to do with that. And I've been in a better place with getting my eating on a schedule, actually eating enough, trying to eat regular meals, all of that sort of stuff. So I feel like Thanksgiving is just another day, another day to keep doing that. So that's what I'll be doing. But yeah, I mean, I guess I just wanted to kind of share and express some of those feelings. I know that the holiday time can be like a really lonely and sad time for people. So if you're feeling that way, you're definitely not the only one. There's nothing wrong with spending Thanksgiving by yourself. You don't have to be sad. You can turn it into like a special day and just do whatever you want, eat whatever you want, make yourself a Thanksgiving-ish feast, but just make your own food that you like the best, like whatever you wanna do. It doesn't have to be a sad day if you're spending it alone. And I think that being alone lends itself more to that introspection that maybe we really should be doing on Thanksgiving. You know, it's getting to be the end of the year. So just reflecting about everything that happened this year, what went well, what's not going well, things that you are genuinely grateful for that happened in the past year. And I don't know. That's kind of my approach to it. Just me and my cats in my little apartment and my little tiny kitchen, cooking whatever I feel like making that day and trying to get through it. I also will add that for people with eating disorders, even if you're not attending Thanksgiving, like this is the time of year where people think that they have the right to comment on so many things about like what you're wearing, how much you're eating, how your body looks, all of that stuff. And I just, I'm kind of opting out of all of that by spending the time alone, but if you are going to be spending Thanksgiving with people that are going to say stuff like that to you, like, let me just be the one to remind you, you don't need to accept those comments, you don't need to hold those conversations if you don't want to, you can make your own boundaries and say I'd prefer not to talk about that and just not discuss it. Same goes for when are you getting married? When are you having a baby? All of those invasive personal questions that family likes to ask around this time of year. You don't have to talk about that if you don't want to. It's not really anyone else's business. Just because they're your family doesn't mean that you have to participate in those conversations. So I don't know. I know that this is a difficult time of year. Being around family is sometimes really exciting and really fun and sometimes it is really difficult and taxing. Like for me last year for Christmas, I do go home for Christmas and last year I went home for I think a full week, maybe it was like 10 days and it was way too long of a trip. I just was not having a good time by the end of it and I ended up coming home like a day or two early. And so this year I was thinking about what happened last year and I was like, you know, 
I should make a boundary and I should adjust my trip to only come for the amount of time that will be fun and exciting and like a good time with people and not overstay my welcome and spend too much time where it starts to become not fun and I feel resentful and just wanting to leave because that's not fun for them either. So this year I am going home for Christmas. I'm going for much less time. I think I'll be there for like five days, which still feels like a really long time, but I'm excited. I think it'll be a good Christmas. My sister just had her first baby recently, which is the first grandchild on our side of the family. So uh, my parents and I went up to meet her in October and the rest of the family hasn't really met her. so. My grandmother is gonna get to see the baby, which is her great granddaughter, which will be very, very special. My grandmother is 95 years old, so it's really, really special that she gets to see the baby. I'm just gonna like burst into tears when I see my grandmother holding this little baby. I'm gonna be so happy. Um, my uncle is coming, he'll get to see the baby, and my brother, and maybe some other family, I don't know yet but that should be nice. I think Christmas for some reason is like a more palatable time of year. I guess it's a little bit less food focused than Thanksgiving. And I guess Christmas feels like more purposeful to me or something than Thanksgiving. So I don't know. I'm really, this is really like a rambling video, like just kind of getting some thoughts out. I think about stuff like this every single year and I feel like I never really get to talk to anyone about it because you know, Thanksgiving is always like, oh, where are you guys going? And people post pictures of their table and all their cool recipes. And like, I just never have felt like a part of that or like excited about anything like that. My family doesn't really have a lot of traditions that are very super special around Thanksgiving. So yeah, just kind of wanted to talk about that and put that out there. If anyone else is feeling the same way, if you're spending Thanksgiving alone, I hope that you have a good day and I hope that you spend it doing exactly what you want to do. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you guys like this style of videos where I'm just kind of chit-chatting and rambling about a certain topic. I want to integrate a little bit more of a personal touch to my channel. I've tried my hand with like a lot of different content just trying to see kind of what I enjoy doing the most and what you guys enjoy watching because I think obviously that's going to be the perfect way to continue my channel. So if you like videos like this let me know. More personal videos give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I hope that you guys have a very happy Thanksgiving, whether you're spending it alone or with your family. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.